best whiskey maker the world never knew. Down in Lynchburg, a town known for Jack Daniels, of course, the history of Jack's mentor is now being unearthed. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson has the story of a former slave turned whiskey maker and mentor. Jack Daniel had a huge influence on the city of Lynchburg and whiskey as a whole, but who influenced Jack Daniel? Who was his mentor? Well, it's been looked into and now the answer is being put in a bottle. These waters tell a story, a story of business, a story of crossing racial barriers, and a story of nearest green. Here we're walking to the top of the spring. It's a story and that Fawn Weaver wants everyone to hear. It's perfectly cold from the source. So a former slave who was recently emancipated. Just perfect for that. Nearest Green used this pure Tennessee water on the Dan Call farm. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. To create whiskey. Those are original pipes. Becoming the first African-American master distiller in the United States and mentoring a boy who would become a legend, Jack Daniel. And Dan essentially said to him, teach him everything you know about whiskey. I want him to be the best. But that story has largely been lost, which is why Fawn is working to recover artifacts and restore parts of the Dan Call farm and distillery that can help share the story of both Jack Daniel and Near Screen. We talk about our master distillers, we talk about Near Screen at that point. And Jack Daniels is spreading the story as well. After the story of Near Screen resurfaced and interest spiked, they started sharing stories about the relationship between Near Screen and Jack Daniel. Working side by side with Nearest and uh, really being colorblind, I mean, that's an important story to tell. And it happened during an important time right after the Civil War, in a place that many did not think could embrace equality. But they did, thanks in large part to Jack. And he always had either Nearest or Nearest boys by his side. It's really hard to be racist when you're living in a town where the big man in town always has blacks around him. And I think it says a great deal about who Jack was. A man who crossed racial boundaries to welcome people into his family, to pay his employees well, and thanks to his mentor, Nearest Green, changed the world of whiskey forever. Um, I hope that when people say Johnny Walker, Jack Daniel, Colonel E.H. Taylor, they say Uncle Nearest, that they, they include him in the conversation of those who are considered the best of the best from the very beginning. In Lynchburg, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. A new whiskey will be launched right here in Nashville tomorrow called Uncle Nearest 1856 Premium Whiskey to honor Nearest Green, and the Nearest Green Foundation will dedicate a park for Nearest in Lynchburg.